reactions after Onanoga shared late Justice Toby's statement to those seeing all eyes on the judiciary. What exactly these people are being afraid of? Why are they afraid? <laughs> Why are they afraid? I am asking again because me, I not understand them. All eyes on the judiciary. Oh, of course, all, all eyes on them. <laughs> because I neck took Nigerian son away. So this one now, this one, we they see you, you they see us. We know waiting day and we understand. <laughs> Why is APC government afraid? Well, let's hit the news and get the full details. But before then, guys, if you are just joining us, Please kindly subscribe and don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you. All Progressive Congress APC Chieftain Bayo Ononoga has used one of the statements made by late Justice Nikki Toby to address those campaigning hashtag all eyes on the judiciary. We record that the statement has been used by many Nigerians after the abduction of the final written address at the presidential election petition case. In a, a post that Bayo Ononoga shared on his official Twitter page, he quoted the exact statement of the late justice to address the supporters of the Labour Party and those saying, hashtag, all highs on the judiciary. The statement was made when Justice Nikki Tobi gave his final verdict on the case between the former president of Nigeria, Muhammad Buhari, and the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC. According to the justice, the Court of Appeal cannot collect evidence from markets. He said, For obedience and blackmailers campaigning all eyes on the judiciary, Late Justice Nikki Tobi has a message for you in his ruling in Buari versus Einek and uh, Uris 2008. The Court of Appeal, he said the Court of Appeal cannot go uh, collect evidence from the market. Okay. The Court of Appeal cannot collect evidence from the market. For example, from the Balogu market, Lagos, or any market, whichever, main market, George Central Market, Kaduna Central Market, the former Gwari Market, Mina, Wurzu Market, Abuja, on the contrary, the Court of Appeal has to wait for evidence. As the court did in the court building during constituted a court adjudicatory body, court of law being legal, and scared institutions do not go on folic or an a journey to collect in corporate or as corporate evidence on the contrary. They deal only with evidence before them which is built on legalism. For the abundance of that, I am not saying by this judgment that all was well with the conduct of the presidential election conduct in 2007. What I am saying is that there was no evidence before the Court of Appeal to dislodge selection 147, one in bracket of the Electoral Act. However, after I made the post, Nigerians, some Nigerians have also reacted to this. Of a truth on Onoga, the irregularities in the presidential election were of such gargantuan magnitude and pro proportion to substantially affect the, re the results of the election. I recommend you to take the late jury's timelines called to, to heart. Okay.
Nigerians are now uh, reacting. I hope you saw Olise interview with channels. Even lawyers are becoming worried with some pronouncement from our court. It is not just about the presidential election petition, but the justice system as a whole. With presidential election petition tribunal as a starting point, there is nothing wrong in one saying, let me keep eyes on the judiciary, unless the person is not confident in themselves, doing the right thing by giving judgment according to the law. Yes, the court will not collect evidence from the market, but where the victory was brought in the market of INEC, won't the court collect evidence from the market? As the ex-governor of River State, so the votes of the state. Was it not brought over? A market does not only mean where the exchange of communities takes place, but vote buying is also a market system, and the evidence is, is, is all there. Okay, bam. The same late justice to be said that no presidential candidate should be elected as the president of Nigeria without winning 25% of FCT. So, my dear, be selective in your quotes. That man is too desperate and violent with his radical statement and hate speech. Okay, can you show us that Justice Nikki to be quotes? Bayo, who has exhausted his whatever, will always be confused in whatever he says. He knows his principle could not be defended in any of the petitions, and all he's doing is killing his own reputation for what he will eat. Time will definitely tell. Okay, guys, these are reactions from Nigerians. So, what's your take on this? Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. And don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you.